What's up, y'all? Let's get straight into it. Grabs you in Soho and instantly regrets it. Did he bang the team? Did he bang the team, bro? Nothing. So he didn't even hit her. Island happened. She's on the floor, crying like a child because she couldn't take no for an answer when she tried grabbing Imagine him. if a man did that. He's like, oh, you're not gonna let me molest you? Oh, I'm just gonna cry on the ground. Come on, bro. In places that she shouldn't have been. This is what you can tell about a man based on his height. Oh, let me try. Here's what you can tell about a woman based on her weight. Uh. <laughs> it's disrespectful if your boyfriend likes other girls' bikini pictures. Yeah, of course. Yeah? Yeah. Disrespectful? Yeah. Totally disrespectful. I know where this okay. is going. Do you post bikini pictures? Of course. Oh yeah, of course. Is, is that not disrespectful to him? She belongs to the tree. Wait, no. Why no. is it? Why no. not? No, 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 no it's not. Why? Women are marketers, men are salesmen. Ladies, if you're marketing you being a 304, men are gonna buy what you're selling. It's as simple as that, ladies. Gotcha. It seems like a lot of things are perfectly acceptable until a man does it. These double standards they have are a part of the long list of reasons why men are walking away from them in large mm -hmm. numbers. You wanna know what men want? We hate the fact that y'all don't take accountability. You'd rather shut down, flip mm -hmm. the script, Mm. Start crying, mm. turn red, mm. act like you can't breathe. And you it's always a sign. Shame, insult, guilt, and the need to be right. Dying. You got the hiccups, mm. the invisible hiccups. You're right. We hate that. It is so annoying. He ain't lying. Because you know why women do that, though? You know why women always take it so personally? It's because like, when you give constructive criticism to a woman, they take it like you don't like them for who they are. It takes a hit on their ego. Whereas men, we say, oh, it's just a characteristic of us, or it's just an offset of our personality. It's just a certain thing about us that maybe you don't like, or maybe that I did. It's not that I'm a bad person. It's just that that one thing that you said was bad. Women take it as, oh, I'm a bad person. You hate me. That's not the case. But this is that childish nature that women have innately, where they take everything personally, which is why accountability is like the plague for them. Because right. it's rare y'all ever wrong. And then the one time you wrong, you're going to die from it. Right. You're right. You we got to admit we wrong even when we not. Facts. We got to admit we wrong all the time. So on the one rare occasion when you wrong, why y'all don't want to take accountability? It's huge. Like, you ain't been wrong in 3,000 arguments. <laughs> you don't take find that what? suspicious? <laughs> you don't find that suspicious? For real, though. 3,000 arguments? You at least taking one L. On the podcast, they might agree with him and say you're right. But we know off the podcast, they most likely never think they're wrong, mm -hmm. since we also know that their actions rarely line up with their words. Facts. So when girls say yes, they mean yes. But when they say yes, they also mean no. Mm -hmm. When they say no, they sometimes... Stupid. How stupid can this be? The English language is hard enough. Ladies, can you just make it a, a clear? If you say yes, it's yes. No is no. Come on mean no but they sometimes also mean yes yes or it could be a maybe but maybe okay. is a yes this is why women don't run first world countries it's because of this stuff right here we, we we can't play all this guessing game yes so maybe also means yes oh lord yeah, Jesus. and the guy should understand yeah. what she means when she says yes. yes. What is she thinking when right. she says yes. yes to this as opposed to So we need to, to be mind readers. Okay, got it. E easy. Being a mind reader is easy. I don't know about you guys. It's it's super easy. Okay, she's saying no, but she yeah. means yes here. Like, you could communicate like a mature adult Facts. rather than being childish mm -hmm. and expecting men to be able to read your mind yeah. to tell when yes means no. And when yeah, I'm not no telepathic. I'm not psychic. I'm not going to be able to read your freaking mind. Just tell me what you're thinking and be an adult about it. No means yes. But being childish seems to be a common trait. Mm -hmm. So I'm not all that surprised. Yeah, for real. Watch a white girl fight off a robber at gunpoint. He literally had a gun to her. She fought him off, got the magazine out the gun and everything. But the crazy part about it was that there was two, two men watching very close by. I mean, literally very close by. They were right within the vicinity, which is weird because why would that man try to rob her with those two guys there? But he did it because he knew they wasn't going to do shit. 
And they did not. It was one man sitting on the I don't know why this is such a hard concept to understand, but women created this situation where they dislike men so much that men finally said, F it, we're not going to help you. We're not going to protect you. We owe you absolutely nothing. And because you're just some random stranger, I no longer have to help you. And, and really yeah, I'm gonna keep my toxic masculinity over here, baby girl. You don't want it. Remember, you don't like it. You don't like that masculinity. So I'll keep it over here. I'll be feminine. What gets me about the video is that there's a lot of other people in that video. Most people did a singular focus on the man sitting in the grass when that woman was getting attacked. But there were women there. So what happened to women supporting women? You know, you all like to preach like how you're girls, girls, and you're supporting each other. And oh my God, I'm always here for you. But you see a woman getting attacked and there's two women walking the other direction. Why aren't they running to her defense? Right, because you want the men that you claim are such trash to save you. And this is a perfect example of what women do all of the freaking time. They mm -hmm. create this standard for how men should treat them, mm -hmm. whether that's in the dating phases, in the marriage stages, in friendships, whatever it is. And they created this standard where they hate men so much, but now you want protection from said men. And now that you don't get it, the men are weak. Make it make sense. You cannot continuously drag men and blame the patriarchy and all of this around you, but then expect men to jump in and save you. Why don't you all call a freaking bear? Yeah, call the bear. <laughs> Sensational. <laughs> Sensational. Men are not obligated to risk their life to save a stranger and expecting them to. He's That's what I'm saying. Baby girl, if you got yourself in that predicament, you need to get your way out. You know what I mean? It's not my job to come save you. What do I look like, Batman? Come on. Stupid. I look like Superman? Stupid. The, the in-town vigilante fighting crime and, and delivering justice on a warm, hot plate? Stupid. <laughs> That's not me. <laughs> Don't carry a purse around by yourself. Don't walk around downtown by yourself. You got to learn this stuff. Entitlement. Additionally, when men do save women, they can get sent to prison just because the woman didn't like how they were saved. Before wow. we continue, brother... I would like to ask you to like the video if you have subscribe. enjoyed it this far and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos. Imagine risking your life to save a stranger from being mugged, robbed and hurt and then being arrested for helping them and then being publicly slandered because she wasn't happy over how you rescued her. This sounds like a made up story, but it's not because that's exactly what happened to this man John wrote in New York. He saw a woman getting mugged in the subway. He decided to step in, told the mugger, hey, get away from her. He didn't listen the first time. Then he yelled, pulled out the gun, said, hey, get away from her, and fired two warning shots. Despite facing over three and a half years in jail for trying to save the life of a stranger, the woman that he saved is saying that he would have been a bigger hero if he had helped without a gun. He thinks it's scary to think that people are carrying guns around New York City, despite the fact that she was being mugged and would have been hurt without one. He said that the gun was a little too extreme. I find it interesting. You gotta love it, dude. You have to, you have to love it. Uh, the gun was a little extreme for me. Like, I wish he would have pulled out a balloon noodle and maybe smacked him in the head with it. Or, or maybe got a bop it and maybe blew his bop up and beat him up. Or maybe got those Hulk hands from Walmart. You know, the ones with the little handle and you could bink them. That would have been a little better for me. Or, or maybe if he would have had like some pepper spray and would have sprayed it in his mouth and not gotten it anywhere else. Could you, can you imagine spraying pepper spray on a train? Everybody be, <laughs> everybody be going crazy. Like we can't win. We can't lose. Like, come on lady. He tried his best. Now, did he fire two warning shots? Probably not the best idea. You know what I mean? But you could have just held the gun up to the dude. Maybe pistol whipped him. Something like that. Not fired two shots, but goodness gracious. How they complain when men don't save them and complain when men do save them. I can't make it up. It doesn't matter what Damned you if we do, damned if we don't. Do, you're still wrong. So don't even try. Just let the bears handle it from now on. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, this isn't gonna be good. Her foot's out, she's gonna... Oh god. <laughs> he already had 911 on speed dial! Gender equality until it time, it's time to shovel the snow! I was gonna do it! I was Shut up! I was gonna do it. No, you weren't. Give it up! Uh -uh. I don't have much. Uh, hey, I look at me. Much. I can't see. Look at me. I can't see. You scared? Yes, I am scared. <laughs> you shouldn't be. You're getting pranked right now. <laughs> Son of a... 
like. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad laughing at that. The falseness we live in as women is believing that we have high emotional intelligence. And wait, 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 say it again. Say it again for the ones in the back. We have high emotional falseness we live in as women is believing that we have high emotional intelligence and setting the record straight women have no emotional intelligence the reason that as women we want to believe we have emotional intelligence is because we are emotional mm -hmm. yeah because just because you're emotional doesn't mean you have emotional intelligence but if you're logical you do have logical intelligence as we are emotional as women we want to think we have high emotional intelligence no. But the truth is, they have some of the lowest. Is the fact that we are highly emotional is actually the biggest indicator that we have very low emotional intelligence because Facts. being emotional is having no control over our emotional state, which is low emotional intelligence. High emotional intelligence is the ability to be pragmatic, to see things realistically and to make choices and respond to life not from an emotional place. It's the ability to be in control of our emotional state and operate in life from that place. Yeah, who do you, who do you think has more control over, over their emotions, men or women? Personally, I think it's men. What about logic? Men are more logically driven. It's just point blank period. But also, if you think about it, this goes back to the insecurity and security conversation i've heard a lot of people talk about right what's more secure because some women will say oh you're insecure if you don't want your girl to go to the club to go to the bar to go out dressed like a 304 you're you're insecure doesn't that mean you're insecure as a guy no it what's more secure a guy setting a boundary saying hey i don't want you to go to the bar don't want you to go to the club i don't want you to dress provocatively around other men to ogle at you and maybe shoot their shot at you and i'm risking willing to lose you just because i'm i am gonna set this boundary and say hey you know what i don't want other men approaching you i don't want you to be out those places what's more secure a guy that says that or a guy that's like baby go do whatever you want i want you to dress like a 304 i want you to go to the club is that guy more secure or is that guy more insecure the guy that's secure is going to risk losing this chick but the guy that's more insecure he doesn't want to lose her so he's like well do whatever you want baby that's the biggest difference same thing with this emotion and logic uh, argument I want to point out how she used logic and reasoning to make her argument, which is why it made sense and was easy to understand. Facts. Unlike the ladies in the beginning that said, men should be able to tell what a woman actually means, even when she Stop says it. something completely different, which gave me a headache from how illogical it was. That's pretty good. Anyway, guys, make sure you subscribe. Whoa, Jafar. Always, always getting me. Always getting me. Yo, man, I got to say, I'm, I'm super happy with where the channel's going right now. We have been able to hit 8,000 subscribers, man. 8,000 subscribers. This is absolutely wild to me. I remember when we started this channel, we were around like, I think we were around like 5K. And like this past month, we've already gained like 700 or something like that. Like, dude, the love is absolutely real. I really do appreciate you guys. Um, yeah, man, I don't even know what to say. Like, I don't even know what to say. We've had some of our best days ever these past few days. So the love is absolutely real. I really do appreciate you guys. All the new folks, all the people that have been here for a while. This is just the beginning. We'll be at 10K in no time. Um, but yeah, I just want to say I really do appreciate you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys tomorrow, though. Peace.